internet so this is just a quick video because after brunch today I popped into Sephora they gave me one of these great disposable bags by the way if you can wrangle one or in my case two out of the friendly girl at the counter I highly recommend that because in my opinion these are the best lunch bags they're really sort of shiny and wipeable um, they're light I think they look glossy I don't know I'm really happy to bring these with me with my lunch in it to the office so um, the first thing I got is a new product, at least it's new here in Canada, it was in that sort of new product section that they have right near the entrance. It's called Glam Glow from Hollywood, California, because of course that's going to make you want to buy it more, right? It's called Super Mud Clearing Treatment, um, and the brand that makes it is T-Oxy Technology, T-E-A-O-X-I. I. Um, it even says that it's new on it, just in case you didn't realize that already. Um, and it, this makes like a lot of promises. It's supposed to erase your pores, fix your problem skin, your blemishes, your pimples, your breakouts, your zits, because all those are different, right? No, they're the same. Um, but also spots, black and white heads, razor bumps, ingrown hairs, dilated pores, um, and just general... Um, like oily skin and so my skin definitely fits into that especially right now I've been breaking out really badly recently just from um, keeping my makeup on for too long um, at the office just kind of working really long hours then I don't wash my face as early as I normally would and essentially have makeup on all the time and so the oil gets trapped in with the makeup um, as much as I might powder or blot my face like that doesn't really make a difference to the overall um, health of my skin and so I've just kind of been struggling with that recently um, and it's sort of cumulative as well because then when I do have a breakout wearing makeup on it will make it worse so I decided to get a little help um, let me just show you the jar because it's pretty cute um, so this is what the inside looks like and it's essentially a face mask that is supposed to help with breakouts it looks pretty fancy so we'll see if you'd like to see a review on this let me know I'm um, for sure if it's amazing I will let you know because that would be very exciting there are so many products out there on the market um, whether they be pricey like this one or less pricey that make tons of claims about fixing your acne and do nothing and possibly make it worse so um, I have a skin routine that I definitely like if you'd like to check that out you can see that here but you know, it's not perfect. Sometimes I still do get breakouts, so we'll see how this works. Um, and then I got a few other things. Um, I succumbed to the new Naked palette. I mean, it was just kind of inevitable. I know when this came out a few months ago, and I think it's fairly new to Canada still, um, I didn't think I was going to get it, but then I have the other two Naked palettes already, and I love them both and wear them, you know, all the time, every day. Um, and this is a matte palette, which I am a total sucker for. I think matte eye makeup is really pretty and classy and easy to wear um, to the office, and surprisingly it looks quite soft. Um, I just really like the way it looks. Um, definitely over the last few years I've been wearing more and more matte eye makeup, and this is a fully matte palette and it's very portable, and it just has a really good selection of shades. So there's a black one called Crave, um, a sort of... It's almost like a little bit of a taupey brown called Faint. Naked 2, which is just sort of a medium shade, sort of a blender color. And then there's two, what I would call lid colors, um, W-O-S, Foxy, and then a highlight called Venus. Um, so I really like this. Um, I really like the packaging as well. Um, I didn't really know what it would feel like until I saw it in person. It's almost like a little bit of a rubberized material. And I would say that it's actually my favorite packaging that I've seen so far in any of the Naked products. So I, th I think they've really refined it. At $30, it's actually fairly affordable for a high-end makeup product. Um, and just a really good basic to have. Um, so... I don't know, I'm pretty excited to try this out. It's nothing groundbreaking, but still very nice to add to my collection. Um, and then to sort of go with the problem skin idea, um, I got a Bare, bare Mineral set. Um, so, you know, the Bare Minerals Foundation is less expensive, but this is kind of a nice bargain because you get $200 worth of products for $79 because I got the matte foundation. So my shade is... 
fairly medium. It's almost a perfect match for my skin. I don't have medium skin, but this is actually fairly light and cool toned, which is what my skin is like. And I had really problem skin before I got my routine down. This is a foundation that I wore like every single day. It covers acne really, really well. You can sort of dot it on pimples as well after you've applied it all over your face. And it just used to work so well for me. So I'm hoping that this will be a good product for me to be keeping on for longer than you're really supposed to keep on makeup. So inside here, just to show you, it's just a really, really nice kit. I didn't really need the full kit, but I kind of wanted it anyway, um, especially because it comes with several brushes, so I can sort of um, dot up and touch up my makeup at work with it. Um, so it comes with two really nice brushes of two different sizes, a little concealer brush, so you can sort of dot on a little bit of the powder on your pimples. Um, these are all great brushes. I've used them before my mom got the full kit, um, exactly the same one a while ago. And then it comes with a primer that does really work well with the foundation. I do really like this. Um, a mineral veil, which I'm not crazy about, but it is kind of useful to have to touch up your skin with. I just find it can be a little bit of a flyaway product that doesn't mattify as well as it should, but it's okay. Um, that's sort of my thoughts on it. And then a bronzer that I do really like called Warmth. It's a little bit dark, um, but it's a really, really nice product. Um, I've tried my mom's before, so um, now I kind of have my own kit, and I'll be just kind of using that over the next little while. There's also a DVD that I don't need, because how much is it really rocket science to like blend something into your skin? It's really not. Um, so. Yeah, I'm really hoping that that will be a good thing for my skin. And then um, the freebies at Sephora right now are pretty great, um, in case you're wondering. Um, I know they can sell out pretty fast, but they weren't sold out today um, at the Vancouver store. So we got a Tarte one with a BB cream. Um, the BB cream I'm going to give to my mom. And then it comes with a loose powder. Um, I've tried this one before, and I do like it better than the Bare Minerals one. So it's kind of nice because it's a little travel size. Um, so this is just kind of a nice one because this is a 100 point perk, which is kind of um, just a nice one, really. And then I also got the 500 point perk. So I never use my points. I never like the freebies they have or they're sold out if I do like it. So I got the Smashbox one. So in the Smashbox um, 500 points perk, there's a BB cream, which I'm going to give to my mom because she really likes BB creams and they're not really full coverage enough for my taste. Um, then there's a Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This looks tiny, but this product is insanely expensive if you want to buy um, the full-sized. Um, and this is the oil-free one, um, which is great. So I tried this a really, really long time ago. It wasn't really for me, but um, I might try it again um, and see how it works and compare it to the Bare Minerals one especially. Um, then there's a Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara that's actually a really nice size, so I've never tried this mascara before. That's kind of nice. A super cute little lip gloss in Illuminate, which is a really pretty sort of champagne-y, classic, stereotypical lip gloss color. And a bronzer, and this was a really nice addition, I thought, to um, the 500 points perk because it's a good size, it's a good travel size, but also just a generally good size product. Um, and it's called the Bronze Lights Bronzer in Suntan Matte, and it's totally matte, which I think is so excellent because there are way too many super sparkly, shimmery, glittery bronzers out there on the market, in my opinion. I don't like any of them. I definitely like more of a matte finish bronzer. Um, so now, as of this purchase, I have two little extra ones added to into my life, so we'll see which one I prefer. So that is it for everything I got from Sephora in this mini haul. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!